these boots were so hard to get into, I had to wait until my feet was not swollen. Hello everybody and welcome back to Ages How You Wear It. And hello to all my returning subscribers, my beautiful butterflies. I haven't been up here in a while to show you any fashion. So I wanted to make sure that I did that. So don't forget to watch my vlogs. They on Sundays. Whenever I record, they are on Sundays. So I thought I'd come up here because I actually just uh, recorded some video footage of me showing you how to style my cowboy boots. Now, you know they my Dolce & Gabbana cowboy boots. I showed them to you. Um, as a matter of fact, I think I showed them in a new in video. Um, I will link that somewhere either, probably after this video. So I want to share with you how I styled it. Now, um, if I, I, it took me a while. It took me a while because uh, these boots were so hard to get into. I had to wait until my feet was not swollen. Cause you know, sometimes throughout the day you eat salt, your feet swollen. So I had to wait because these boots don't have a zipper. You have to just put your feet in and they're narrow. But once I get them on, they feel fine. But baby, getting into these, no ma'am. <laughs> no ma'am, I, I need to lose some weight around my ankles, my foot. And uh, what's so funny is my right foot is fine, it's my left. My right foot is small, I guess you could say smaller, not smaller because I wear the same size. It is thinner for some reason, I don't know. Let me know if you have that problem. If your one of your feet is thinner, thinner than the other one and the one on the left is always swollen it's just weird and that did not start happening until i got older it did not you know i don't like to keep you when i do my styling videos uh so let's start off with what i got on honey so as you see right here i'm gonna put the picture of me styling it right here either a video uh, probably a video and probably a picture um this hat I got from Shein. You see it has the cowboy print. I hope you can see it because it's kind of bright and you probably can't, but let me go back a little bit. You see it? It has the cowboy print on it and it is fairy, um, fairy. There is no fairy in here. Hmm. It has that, uh, I guess you could call it, <laughs> that mink look to it but it's so cute these earrings that i got at an outdoor flea market uh this man was actually he had all handmade uh african art uh statues jewelry and i got this bracelet as well and you can see that on my vlog and the vlog you should see on sunday so this fashion one is, I will put Saturday, which is actually today. I will make sure I upload it in my vlog tomorrow. So you can see where I got this from and the stuff that they had from there. And I got on this beautiful, beautiful brown, uh, rich, pretty dress that I got thrifted. I love the sleeves and it is good quality and um it is actually uh 100 rayon which means it's that good material this and i i like the way it's not tight but it has a look as if it is if that makes sense like it's tight up top but it don't it still doesn't cinch you in the way so if you're going somewhere and you're gonna eat you still be good because you still gonna look good because it's it's a little loose around the body but without making you look like you frumpy. So I had that on with the boots and I paired it with, look at this bag guys, look at this. I paired this outfit with this bag that has all the other different prints on it. Look at all the different, sorry about the light. 
but look at all the different print on it and it's a chocolate brown in the back and it somebody didn't wear this long because look at the handles the handles is still in good condition and i wanted to pair all the different prints in the um in the bag so i wore a solid color brown and then this goes well with my hat in the boots come on now mm -mm. i'm not messing with y'all today i'm not doing it grandma coming with the fashion honey don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see some of my style and here is my instagram join me come join me over there i have a blog where i put all my daily thoughts thoughts that I want to share during the day. It's a diary style uh, blog and it's just my thoughts. It may and okay, so let's go to the second look. The second look is this beautiful, so it is a jean dress. Let me see if I can shut the blinds. Hold up guys. Let me see if that's better. Oh, it is great. So I got this jean dress from H&M. It buttons all the way down. It has the silver buttons that go all the way down the dress. It is such good material. Do you understand what I'm saying? It is, this dress is good. I, I cannot wear this at the dead of summer because you will burn up. Now, if you're going somewhere where you're going to go inside, you're just getting out the car and go inside and you know in the summertime, people pumping the ac then you good to go but this right here this dress i like the length of it i like the fact that it actually stretches a little bit and um i just it is so nice so i paired that with this thrifted uh puffer vest so you see this thrifted puffer vest and I love the gold buttons on the actual uh, vest. And even though those buttons are silver and these are gold, you can't really tell because this, I have the puffer over the dress and the dress is short. <laughs> Grandma said, yeah, honey, mm -hmm. short. And I put on, but let me tell you about this vest right quick. It's by Talbot's and it's an excellent, I paid like $8 maybe, maybe, or it could have been less. Look at this. And if this was on a resale site, cause you know, sometimes I buy, I buy my, stuff from re, my stuff from resellers, thrifted stuff that I can't find. Stuff like, um, uh, stuff like uh, sequins, because sequins, I cannot, <sighs> sequins is so hard to find where I thrift at. Um, so I may buy that if it's reasonable, but something like this, I can go in the thrift store and find myself because they will sell something in excellent condition like this. They will sell this for about $30. I know I pay $8 or less. So I wore it with this belt that I got from Zara. If you've been following me a while, you know that this belt I got from Zara is well worth the money. Some things you get from Zara is worth it because if you can wear it over and over again and style it over and over again, it is worth the price, whether it's fast fashion or vintage. If I can continuously wear it, then it's worth any amount of money I pay for it. So that outfit, oh, you're gonna have to tell me which is your favorite because baby, these looks, is on point I, I just can't even pick a favorite because i love them all they all look good all right so the last look let me start with the um animal print i have on the uh mock neck um what they call these why well, i'm always forget body suit <laughs> This Montnet bodysuit that I got from Shein, I just love. I, what I like is how it's bright and dark at the same time. I, I like the, 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 the design of the bodysuit. It is so nice. And it snaps at the bottom. And I got it in a large size. Everything I get from Shein, I get the 8 to 10. Um, because I don't want anything tight 
at all. Um, and it's good quality. It's actually very, I didn't wash these several times and I didn't bring them out. This is my third winter. This is my third winter. what I say? Prices. And I wore it on top of this beautiful, let me see if I can get back. These, this, let me see. Oh, I hate the fact that y'all can't really see it. This, what is up with this light? Let me see. Oh. Anyway, it is this beautiful embroidered dress I got from um, H and M, and it's white. And if see how the sleeves, the sleeves are short, and um, there you go. You see the embroidery? It's all through the dress. This is a beautiful dress. And I'm hoping I never get any spots or anything on it. Because you know how it is with white. So it goes all the way down like that. And it's low cut in the... Uh, it's it's low in the front. So you saw how I have the bodysuit on. So it's low in the front with all the embroidery. Child, it ain't happening. Paired it with my lack of color hat and um isn't this gorgeous with the ve velvet feel Vel velvet velour I don't know. is this velour though i don't know but y'all know these are wool hats so these are nice fedoras and i paired it with that in my chocolate brown very beautiful men's corduroy uh blazer and i bring this out every winter too i've had this and this is by this is vintage and it's by carbon and um this dress is vintage uh yeah um so i bring this out every year i got this from the men's department never go out go out of style can wear it forever as long as it's still in good uh shape and what i do with my blazers is i you know how you like to roll the sleeves up whether it's a shirt a blazer you want to squish to see see the the sleeves up instead of folding or squishing and trying to hold it i use these bracelets look at these beautiful beautiful bracelets now i can't wear these bracelets the reason being they're too big you see it i got them from a lady who made them handmade and it is just too big so what i do is i put them as my blazer uh to put my sleeves up when i want to and have a decorative look to it um and i think it's just beautiful tie it on the, on your hair in the back you get you some bracelets that's too big for you you can go to a thrift store and find bracelets like this all the time. Use them for hair pieces. Use them to squish your um to squish your shirts up in your blazers and have it a decorative look. If you know if it's peeking through, it looks really nice. Chat please. I'm gonna keep telling y'all stuff. Okay, so that's it, guys. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy to come back and show you my styling videos. You will start to see these randomly on Saturday along with my vlogs on Sunday. Uh, so don't forget to follow me, like, and subscribe. And don't forget, no matter where you are in your transformation, you're still beautiful. Bye, guys.